This is sort of a nightmare assignment on paper. We want one image, but it's got to have four different focal points so it can work four different covers and just do whatever you want. <laughs> I mean, what do you do with that? My name is Mark Chef, and I created this illustration for the four holiday covers for the Science Fiction Book Club, and it was also used for, uh, on this banner for New York Comic Con. We knew that we wanted it to be four different covers. We knew the style because there was a piece that we were sort of keying off of that I had done previously. He said, well, you know, maybe an ice queen and, uh, you know, get a dwarf in there and, you know, some alien stuff. Um, and then the rest kind of happened. I did the sketches actually at the Illustration Masterclass this year. So I had Rebecca Gay and Greg Manchez sort of sitting over me looking at it. But, um, but even after the sketches, a lot of this uh, changed you know, throughout the process. With the Queen, there were a lot of subtle changes, but changes that I think are important that really convey more of an emotion. With you know, all, these, all these designs and, and stuff in there, I, there's guys who, you know, there's like tattoo artists who can just kind of do that. I'm, I'm not necessarily that guy. Um, I went on a trip to Morocco with my wife and uh, I've got about a thousand pictures of close-ups of walls and vases and ceilings because every inch of Marrakesh is just covered in beautiful tile work and, and carvings and inlay and all this stuff. So a lot of the patterns that you see there are actually from different objects from my trip. I think her headdress is mostly from this one vase, and there's uh, um, even even some of these sigils here are from stuff I saw there that sort of made me think of something else. It's all modified, but it's all sort of inspired from from that trip. You know, when we were going through this, I remember going back and saying, "I know that you already printed this cover, but I want to make this change that I think is going to make the wallpaper better or this other thing better." And you were open to those ideas, and it was a real partnership. Um, I've, I've seen lots of clients just shut that down. Um, and that shuts down the creativity of the artist and it shuts down the overall quality of the piece. I think that's the goal. You know, you want to get something that the client is going to be really happy with, obviously. But it's going to be better if the artist also loves it. You know, if you give the artist too many constraints, you know, if you basically sketch it out for them and say, here, paint this, you're not going to get the artist's passion. Working on this piece definitely caused an evolution for me, um, trying to essentially learn how to do what I do, but with real paint, because after art school I just did Photoshop, basically a painter, and, and now I'm, I'm excited to get back to, to real physical paint. I've done a few pieces and, you know, I like them. <laughs>